aujourd'hui pour annoncer des améliorations importantes au système de détention. Uh, the detention system. This is uh, something that uh, is a concern for Mr. McCallum, Michel, and myself for several months. Every day at 117 land ports of entry, 13 international airports, and 27 rail sites, officers of the Canada Border Services Agency, CBSA, deal with more than 250,000 travelers seeking to come into this country every day. Canadians returning home, Americans and others coming here to do business, visitors and tourists from around the world, new immigrants following the correct procedure to make Canada their new home, refugees fleeing from abuse and hopelessness, and others. CBSA carries a serious and difficult responsibility under the law to protect the integrity of Canada's borders and to keep Canadians safe, while also facilitating the free and legitimate movement of both people and trade. The vast majority of border encounters are brief, routine, and successful. But a few present serious problems, especially when an individual wanting to enter or remain in Canada has not met the legal requirements set by Parliament to do so, and cannot be identified with any certainty, or is a flight risk, or threatens the safety of Canadians. In these limited circumstances, CBSA officers are empowered to detain such persons until the defects in their status are corrected or security issues are resolved. Given the huge volume of people seeking to enter Canada virtually all of the time, it is probably not surprising that there are an average of about 450 individuals detained under the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act at any given moment in time. These make up less than 0.02% of travelers to Canada per year and there are safeguards under the law to protect them. First, CBSA is required by law to consider all reasonable alternatives before detention. Detention is always and is only the last resort. In the majority of cases, individuals are detained for a relatively short span of time. Secondly, every decision to detain an individual is subject to immediate and then periodic legal reviews by a duly appointed and properly trained member of the Immigration and Refugee Board. The IRB is an independent tribunal focused on immigration law. In reviewing detention cases, the IRB has full authority to release the individual or to identify future conditions for release or to maintain the detention. It is a quasi-judicial independent process. In my first few months as minister responsible for CBSA, I have certainly heard the concerns about immigration detention, and I've studied those concerns with great care. I've met with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, and with the Canadian Association of Refugee Lawyers, and with the BC Civil Liberties Association and others. While the UNHCR recognizes Canada's refugee system as among the best in the world, we do not make any claims of perfection. The government is anxious to address the weaknesses that exist and to do better. So our objectives are, firstly, to increase the availability of effective alternatives to detention and thus reduce the overall number of cases in which detention is the only available technique to deal with those difficult problems of identification, flight risk, or danger to the public. Secondly, we want to reduce the use of provincial jails for immigration detention by making safe, 
high quality, federally operated facilities, especially designed for immigration purposes, more readily available. Thus, avoiding as much as possible the commingling of immigration cases with criminal cases. Thirdly, we want to try to avoid housing children in detention facilities altogether as much as that is humanly possible. Fourthly, we want to enhance the health, mental health, and other human services available to those who are detained. Fifth, we want to maintain ready access to detention facilities for agencies such as the UNHCR, the Canadian Red Cross, legal and spiritual advisors, and others who provide support and counseling. And finally, to achieve greater transparency, including effective dependent scrutiny and review of all CBSA operations is among our priorities, and proper responses to any specific complaints about officers or facilities or, or situations. In my discussions with CBSA's leadership, Linda and her team, I have found a genuine desire to move forward in these directions. To do so, some of the ideological limitations of the last 10 years are being left behind, and of course, new money is being invested. Depuis quelques temps, le gouvernement du Canada the last few years, exprime the Canadian fortement government had uh, expressed strongly the need uh, to make uh, improvements to the facilities and to the uh, procedures that are used within the detention system of immigration. There is no doubt that we have to be able to keep in all safety who, all those who need to be detained according to the uh, immigrant, uh, immigration legislation in Canada. Moreover, we also have the responsibility uh, to ensure the well-being and the health of those uh, who are detained. The Immigration and Refugee Protection Act are primarily detained in immigration holding centers, or IHCs. The CBSA administers three IHCs located here in Laval, where we are today, also in Toronto, and there is a short-term facility in Vancouver. Depending on needs and depending on what the location is elsewhere across the country, people may also be detained in provincial correctional facilities based on long-standing cooperation that the federal immigration system has had with provinces. The CBSA has been working with provincial governments to ensure appropriate care of immigration detainees. In Ontario, a memorandum of understanding was signed, which sets out the obligations for detention. And the CBSA is currently in negotiations with both the province of Quebec and the province of British Columbia.